Once you are done with your textures and material design inside Substance Painter, as a last step, you may want to export them. So in lesson number 24, we will learn how we can export our textures and materials to our favorite applications like Arnold for Maya or 3D Studio Max or Unreal Engine or Unity or whatever or Adobe Dimension, whatever comes in 24 lesson. Let's learn that. So everyone, we are in lesson 24 and in this lesson we will learn how we can uh, actually uh, export our uh, textures, okay? So to do that, first of all, you have to, let me reset all my stuff here, okay? So I have all this everything over here on my screen, which is now ready and I'm ready to export it. To export this one, what I need to do first of all is that I have to go to file export textures okay once i have export textures i have to oh, i have these kind of settings here the first setting here is the global settings global settings is for the whole project uh here is the folder whatever folder you want you can click on the you can you know choose the folder output template whatever template you want to use there are a large number of templates here okay suppose if you're working on arnold uh using uh you know maya so you can click on arnold okay what kind of files you want png files uh, 8 bit files you have okay then sizes based on texture size or if you want a good size maybe or you want 4k so you can do that padding padding means uh you have different kind of paddings uh, it, the one that it uses is that uh, like dilation infinite what it do is that the corners the border of your textures are infinite so that usually if it is not infinite uh, in the gaming environment usually when you are walking and then you don't have a uh, dilation infinite on, on your objects it will show black borders to avoid that you use the dilation, uh, dilation infinite which i think is better to keep it now separately you can go to each set and you can change that here if you want suppose i don't want the height to be 8 bits and i don't want it to be a png so I can adjust it, I can keep it uh, 16 bits and I want it to be 10. So this is what I can change here, okay. So I can go to the others, I can do the same thing, okay. Like I won't want this, I uh, like I want uh, diff. Same thing I can do in the middle, I can go to here, uh, 16 bit and I can go to diff. And you know, other parts here as well, I can do that. I can if I can go to 16 bit, then I can go here. Okay, uh, if 16 bit, okay, and then uh, here as well, if 16 bit, done. So this is how you can change whatever you want. So I only change, I have changed this one. Now other thing that you can change here is that you can go to the output templates and you can choose your Arnold standard template. Now here if you will see there is a height map here which is using png if you will choose this to tiff and 16 bits what will we do it will do the same thing but at the same time it will do for all of them just like whatever i was doing i was doing for one by one for all of them but if you are in here if you will do that it will automatically do for all of your uh, settings now uh, if you have already uploaded some items, uh, uh, sorry, if, uh, like whatever uh, items you are exporting will be in this uh, list, okay? And once you are done with all these settings, what you can do is that uh, you can save the settings if you want, or you can simply press export if you think you are done. And as soon as you will do that, you will see that there is a progress bar exporting the stuff. It will take little time because I chose 4K. Okay, so let's wait for a while uh, and uh, let's see uh, if 
uh, like when it gets exported so what i will do is that i will just pause this video and then once it is exported i will resume so now as you can see everything is exported and they all are in the green color that means they are successfully finished so if i will press on my open directory it will show all of them okay so the most interesting one let's see this one which is the retro tv front casing display okay and here it is you can see that okay and quite good quality okay and other thing which is quite interesting is this one okay look at those stickers wow okay and then we have some other stuff like we have uh, roughness maps here uh we have uh kind of a uh you can say the normal maps here okay normal maps i don't think they are doing so much because we don't actually have a lot of normal uh, maps okay uh there were some other uh materials inside this folder so don't worry about that uh let's see let's see some height maps here i don't think there are some height maps because we didn't use a lot of height maps let's see this one uh yeah there is one height map this is for the logo and what else we use for the height map not too much but yep okay so you can see that how nicely it is arranged okay automatically imagine if you were doing this in photoshop how much time it will take okay but it saved the, uh, your uh, time okay and this is how you can explore uh, successfully your uh, like materials so next class will be the last class where we will learn how to render uh, this in iray and how you can uh, save the files and how you can share it and with, like you know uh the substance painter is directly connected to uh, art uh, like art station you can directly upload there so guys uh thanks for watching my video if you have any question uh, you can type in the comment section if you like this tutorial please click on the like button and do subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon keep supporting me and keep watching my videos but online so guys take care and we'll meet in the next last lesson number 25